Hello everyone and welcome to Family Fridays. My name is Daisy Noten and I play the flute. I live near a sunny seaside town called Hastings and earlier last year I played with the London Mozart players in the opening of their new series LMP by the Sea at the Opus Theatre. Now in this video I'm going to be telling you a little bit about the flute, about an orchestra I'm part of, there'll also be a musical treasure hunt and you'll be able to create your own music using glass bottles, water and maybe even some food colouring. This is the head joint of the flute and it can make some very silly noises. But when you put it with the main body of the flute, it sounds very different. The lowest note that the flute can play is this and the highest is this. I was first inspired to play the flute when I went to see the ballet The Nutcracker and I kept hearing this beautiful sound which I found out afterwards was the flute. Now I'm going to play with my mum the tune that I heard. Feel free to make up a dance or just move to the music. And now I'm going to introduce to you the younger relative of the flute, which is the piccolo. And as you can see, it's a lot smaller than the flute, which means it can go a lot higher. I'm going to play for you a short tune from the same ballet, The Nutcracker. I play both the flute and the piccolo in the National Youth Orchestra of Great Britain. Recently, I was involved in a huge project with them, which brought together musicians from all around the world, playing a tune from one of Beethoven's symphonies called Ode to Joy. This is what it sounds like. In a minute, I'll be showing you how you can play this tune yourselves by blowing across the tops of bottles filled with water. Make sure you have your five bottles, your jug of water and food colouring if you want to. Take one of the bottles and try blowing across the top of it. You can do this by putting the top of the bottle just underneath your lip and then blowing like this. To play Ode to Joy, we need lots of different sounds and at the moment, all these bottles sound the same. I'm going to show you how, by adding different amounts of water to these bottles, we can create these different sounds. Before we get started, Label your bottles one to five, as I have done here, as this will make things a lot easier later on. You can put the first bottle to the side, as we won't be adding any water to this bottle. Now for the second bottle, we would probably want to be adding around this much water. And once 
once you've filled it with water, blow across the top of it and see if you can hear that it's a different sound compared to number one. This sounds different, so that's ready to go. For the third bottle, we'll be wanting to add around this much water. Try blowing across the top of it. Compared to two. This sounds different, so that's also ready. For the fourth bottle, we want to add even more water, so around this much. Let's give it a try. Compared to they sound quite similar, so let's add a bit more water to number four. Let's try again. Compared to that sounds different, so that's ready now. For the final bottle, we'll be on wanting to add the most water, so around this much. Let's see what it sounds like compared to they all sound different so now they're ready to go and if you want a bit of fun now's the time to add some food colouring along as we play so you can play too. rhyme musical treasure hunt. I'm going to be playing for you lots of different nursery rhymes. Some are going to be easy to spot and some a little more hidden. See how many you can find by counting up on your fingers while I'm playing.
How many did you manage to spot? There were 10 in total. If you are interested in hearing more of the flute and other woodwind instruments, then you should search into BBC iPlayer, BBC Young Musician 2020 Woodwind Final, where you can hear me playing the flute and four other woodwind players. Thank you so much for watching this week's Family Fridays. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.